One of my favorite things to do is to make projects and art for my street and trench friends. And I think sometimes people are like, why on earth would you do this? They might just throw it out the next day. And for me, I don't even care what they do with it. But it's all about that moment of impact when I give it to them. And I think it's so important that these people, like people who are struggling need to know that they are loved. I think one of the most powerful ways to show love is to be intentional. So I will spend countless hours making projects for them and not knowing if like the painting I make or like the project I make is just gonna go in the garbage the next day. But it's all about that moment of impact when I give it to them. So one of my friends, um, she is actually one of the most amazing people I know. She's been through so much, but she is not a victim. And that's crazy with what she's been through. And as I've been getting to know her, I just was, I've just been asking the creator, what could I do for her to show her how important she is? Cause she's, she just needs to know this. And one day I was, I was he overhearing her talking about this one place that she went to that, that she really liked. And I got this idea. I'm like, oh, I should try to recreate this for her. So I'm like, well, what could I do? Like, what could I do to recreate it? And the place she liked had a waterfall. And I'm like, huh, what if I make her a fountain? And I have, I have no clue how to do this. I found on, I, online someone making a cement fountain out of styrofoam and I thought oh what if I could try that so over eight months I made her a fountain that represents the place that she likes going I, I've spent hundreds of hours making this I even stayed up all night one night just to get it to her by her birthday and you're probably wondering why it's still with me and I'll tell you that in a second but it's like every hour I feel that I do it is just to show her how much she is loved. In our really busy world right now, I think one of the most valuable things that we have is time. We give our time to the things that we love and that we value. I think that if I can spend my time like making them something on my time off, in my time that I'm not getting paid, I think that it speaks volumes to them for their, their worth and their value and they so need that so many of them have never had any type of love and just for someone to like see them and try to find something that's meaningful to them and to reach out like that it just means so much to them and so many of them have have expressed that so i'm just gonna kind of show you my process so i first started with making the tree actually this tree took me so long I went to the dollar store found some some metal pieces of wire that can be used for gardening and kind of form the branches how I wanted and then I put tin foil over that and then I put clay on top of that and then with the leaves I got um, cellophane the green cellophane from the dollar store and I I ironed it and then there's like over a hundred leaves and with each leaf, I had to like glue two together over top of like these tiny wires and put it into the, the branches. So that took a long time. And then from there, I cut out the styrofoam. I took my tree and attached it into the styrofoam. And then I cut a hole from the top where there was a little pool for the water to come down. And then I, I cut a hole and I put tubing in between the top and the bottom. And then I, I bought a little pump on Amazon that attached to it. I had a little like plastic bowl in the bottom. I can't show you that because it's stuck in there. And then I, I painted it with cement. And then I, I just got these sheets of these tiles and I just put the cement on and I stuck it on. And then I just got stones from like the dollar store and just stuck it on and like moss and then so when I was putting the rocks on underneath here I actually left a little gap in between right here 
and there's a tunnel in between the front and the back. So I, I cut a, when I was cutting the styrofoam, I cut a hole in between and then I, I just had some plastic bottles that I didn't need and I, I made a little like tunnel with them and I like it glued it and then put it in between this side and the back and so it's at an angle that it will like flow into like the little container at the back and then I put the pump into the container at the back and the pump pumps it up through here. So then it will just go in and like go under just through that and come back up. But the way I wanted to make sure it didn't leak is I took silicone and I just spread it all over and then I spread it on the inside and spread it in the back. The way I tried to prevent it from leaking is I took silicone and I just spread it throughout all of this all over the top, in the middle, and in the back. Then I just have to make plug it in to make it work. Like that. And honestly, like the moment I give them these projects is actually I, I think I get a high from it because just seeing the joy in their face or just like the value. Um, just just knowing that there's someone in the world that loves them and I've heard before that just even one person can cause someone's course to adjust and change and and I think so often in my work I don't see much change but I think it's seeds that we're planting and and honestly like if I'm just a tiny link in the chain for them to one day get freedom and hope and and get clean from their life I think is a hundred percent worth it so I will spend countless hours just to plant a seed in one of their lives because they are just so worth it we spent 10 hours doing something and what if just those 10 hours because we chose to invest that in someone's life what if that changed their life often misbehavior is a result of needs not being met and I think one of the most significant needs other than like food and water or basic needs is just to have love and belonging. So what if we could speak volumes to someone that they are loved and they belong? I, I really believe that these this can cause ripple effects in their lives. What if as society we just got really good at, at helping the unseen feel seen and together we like just do little things like oh I'm gonna like make this for this person because I just saw their smile and it's, it's a beautiful smile and that reminded me of this flower so I'm gonna actually make a clay flower and give it to them I maybe they won't value it but the, the thought it's that the moment of impact that they need it's totally worth it in one video in the future I'm actually gonna be showing you some of my process with how like another project I did I would love to hear if you have ever made a project or something for someone who is unseen or maybe someone in your, in your family or friends who just needed to know they were valued and if you want to join me on this journey of reaching out, I think often it starts with us healing ourselves. You can just subscribe to my channel and we can do this together. The reason it's still with me is because I'm a beginner and it leaks and I have tried again to stop the leak and I still have to figure it out but I am not gonna give up until this is done and I can give it to her I told her I'm like I'm not gonna give up on this just like I'm not gonna give up on you